Yeah, we got Bill back. Yeah. So uh, we got uh, other calls uh, calling in. But I'm I got, go ahead, Drew. Uh, there we go. There we go. I Dollar Bill. Dollar uh, Bill. Deep. Real quick, Dollar Bill. This is Deep East Oakland, 64th and Mac Block, Mac Carter, Bancroft, baby. You know what it is, Dollar Bill. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Town yes, business. Yes, sir. The town business for sure, for sure. Everywhere let him know. Go. Let them know where we town business everywhere we go, coach. Yeah, tell that punk ass. Oh, excuse me. Stop a lot. Hey, I don't know what's wrong with South Sucker TV. Keep talking about real Oakland guys. You know what I mean? He ain't never been there to be talking about it. The most he, ugliest man in the whole world. You don't know. That's why. I, uh, uh, Bill, that's why I tell, I tell coach, I tell everybody, he's different black and brown relations if you're from the town. That's why yes, Bill Haney and Devin Haney is La Rasa. They La Rasa. Ain't no doubt. Ain't no doubt. I, listen, and not tell only them. tell them, people don't know that from the town, from the Bay, when you're from the town, it's all kind of ethnicity, especially the black and the brown. We like this. Ain't never been to like the the, yeah. the, the stuff like to go on in L.A., Southern California. It's the, and Northern no, California, nothing like that, Coach. Like, nothing like, like that, Bill. It's the, it's the brothers and the amigos locked in. Locked in. And the face of boxing, Bill, this is what I'll say. Devin is on his way. Uh, the only man that's undisputed that got more ti undisputed title defenses right now than Devin Haney is Canelo. Devin's done a stadium fight. He's on his way. All that's next, Bill Haney, is is the Forbes list. You got a lot of wins, Bill. Commercial. It's coming. It's coming, Bill. Yes. Drew, Drew, Drew is that your phone? No that's not my phone. I think that's Bill. I don't know. Ain't no window down or anything. Oh, okay. Never uh, mind. But, that, but, but I'll let it go like this, Bill. That Bama from West Baltimore, he don't want to see the boy from the town. He don't want to see that young player, that young goatee to Mac. You know, he don't want, they don't want it, Bill. You know what it is. Yeah, but we're going to be full court press on all of them. They know what it is. They know what time it is. They know they can't come out here and, and do what we do. They don't even, he don't even have game like that, uh, Bill. You know, he ain't his own man. He don't stand on his square like that. He's not, a, right. he's not an independent dude like the Bay Area dudes is, Bill. And we know that. Yeah. Him, Mr. Ford, none of them cats. They don't move like us. All right. No. We got other calls called in. No, wait, All right. Now, wait, wait, wait. See, before before the brother leave, I want to say, you know what I mean? I appreciate the call. But, see, those are the reasons why we got to move the way we move. Because to go back to Oakland and go back as a worker, you didn't fail. You didn't fail the community. You got to go back to Oakland as a boss. Because that's all, everything that we all we know is independence. Whether it's music, whether it's film, whether it's boxing, right? It's being independent, man. Believing in yourself, betting on yourself. That's town business. That's the Oakland way. That's the Bay way. You know what I mean? Whether it's E-40, out to E-40 with, with his independence, too short, with his independence. That's all we know, dog. All right. But well, salute, fam. Shout out to Drew. Okay. All right. We got a lot of calls. Super chats I haven't got to yet, Bill. Let me let me get to some of these super chats. Uh, Carla, hold on. Uh, shout out to L. Noni dropping that two dollar super chat. He said, "Put some respect on um on his name." Okay. Shout out to the the one, Mr. Ham. He said, "Dollar Bill with the NWO NWO style promo calls." Okay. Shout out to uh Jamie Vasquez dropping a quarter of a dub. He said, "All his hate towards Bill got to stop. He's doing his job as a father and as part of our uh, team, Haney. You know, a lot of dadless dudes." Out there hating, okay? Um, shout out to Raymond Moore, dropping that quarter of a dub. He said, yo, Bill, why you call Ryan Pops a shea butter and Ryan try to correct you and say it's cocoa butter, <laughs> okay? <laughs> uh, shout out to uh, Sean from the Heights, dropping that quarter of a dub. He said, Tank need to call in. All right, all right. Hold on, Bill. We got another call calling in. Um, call him, what's your name? Where you calling from? Yo, what's up, coach? This is Tommy D from Baltimore, man. Thank you, D. You sound like you're in the hallway. Man. But go ahead, fam. Y'all can hear me. Y'all can hear me. Yeah, you sound like you're in the hallway, but I can hear you. Go, go, I go ahead, Thug and D. Oh, uh, I was about to ask uh, Brother Bill to dive and get his shoes back from Lubin. To dive and get his shoes back from Lubin. Yeah, hey, you hey, got hey, them back? Hey, listen. Hey, did, hey listen. Did I got you, another question too. But did you ever hear Lubin say he took Devin's shoes? Yeah, hell yeah. No, who did you I hear? I heard a couple that? people say that. No, I heard hey, a couple hey, coaches say that. You heard who say that? I heard a couple coaches say that. Wait, who he said he heard? Like, say um, that? He said a couple of coaches, a couple of coaches. Like Wiley Moses. Wiley Moses. 
You don't remember he told he said that? Hey, hey sound like gossip and hoes talking about the next nigga what the next nigga did instead of talking about what they did. Sound like some gossip and hoes. So y'all ain't get y'all kids back. Huh? So y'all got Vivo for y'all shit. And y'all ain't get it back. Yeah, man. What he saying, Coach Mellon? Hey, what he saying? Hey, man. He he said y'all got Debo you for the shoes. Why y'all trying to fight somebody you just knocked out, man? Can you hear me, Bill? Oh, he can't hear me. He can't hear me, Coach. Yeah. The pre- listen, Coach. When the hey, pressure hey, getting applied on these niggas, hey, hey, these hey, niggas hey. be quiet like hey, church hey, mouse. Hey, hey, <laughs> these niggas be quiet like church mouse. <laughs> we don't ride y'all niggas to 140. You coming on True Media TV? <laughs> Making up a bunch of bullshit, man. Listen, listen, you feel me? Listen, now listen, we don't watch your son. We don't watch your son get his ass whooped in front of Floyd Mayweather. We watch your son get his ass whooped in front of Floyd Mayweather. The whole world you know, you saying watch, that you know, shit, you watch, man. You watch, you the whole the world saying that shit, man. I know you and then y'all ride right to Mexico. Whenever you slow down, whenever you y'all ride right to Mexico. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook your ass as soon as you get through talking. I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready to answer these questions? Hey, Tucker D, we got a lot of calls calling in, man. So I just want you to get your points. I don't want to interrupt your show, you know. Keep it, keep it going. We DCD. And we don't, we don't move like them Cali niggas. You right, dude. We don't move like them sick uh, ass niggas. We, we built different around here. You heard? We bought them all, no, all no, day. No, East, no, West, down south, up north. You heard? No, you come no, face to face with that chill from Baltimore, you going to see what's up. You gonna see what's up, hey, nigga. And thug and D. All right, salute for he hung the phone look, up. I bet you look fucked up right now. Wait, no, no, no. Hey, coach, I, what I'm not gonna do, coach, is I'm not gonna let these niggas come on here and say nothing and me not talk to them. Niggas no, go ahead. No, 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 no. He hung the phone up, but go ahead. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. But thug and D, I bet you won't turn on the phone and show all that good shit that you got going on in Baltimore. You talking about thug and D like you really pushing that line because if you knew. Anything you'll know that I'm certified and pushing in line for real. I know some good men around Baltimore. You niggas ain't doing nothing but being boxers. So stay in your space talking about this Oakland Baltimore shit. It ain't about that. It's about boxing. You niggas is, and you, you specifically call a phony and a fraud that ain't did nothing. That ain't did nothing in Baltimore to represent being a real Baltimore nigga. You know what I'm saying? You're around here creating narratives about boxing, right? About boxing because you don't want to box and because you didn't pick out the guy. Y'all the one was flipping coins. Y'all the one was talking about next that my youngin is going to do this and that. And when we call you on it, now you want to start talking tough like you niggas is doing something in the street. You niggas ain't did nothing. Y'all boxers. Y'all spent all your life in the boxing gym. You ain't did shit. Nothing. Period. No uh, shout out to uh, shout out to Ronald Jimenez. He said you let callers talk over Bill. Keep some structure. No, I'm letting the people call in and talk. You know what I mean? I no, mean, let talk, okay? but let I, I'm let people. I'm gonna let Ronald Jimenez. I'm letting the Bill talk now. I'm gonna let people talk. If you don't like it, Ronald Jimenez, guess what you can do? I know you're from Tampa, but just what you can do? If you don't like how I'm running the show, don't listen to the show. Simple as that. Tampa or no Tampa, I'm gonna call it the way I see it. I, I, I let the, I let the caller call because he took the time out to call the show, and then now I'm gonna let Bill Haney respond back because out of respect I have to do that. If you don't like it, get what you can do. You can you can uh, you can speed on before you get peed on. Simple as that. Oh, um, caller said, um, uh, go ahead, Thug. I mean, go ahead, um, uh, Bill. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know, with with a name like Thug and D, you really think that we knew about him. You know what I mean? Like he was really thugging out here. You know what I mean? Uh, for real, for real. Why you talking all that East Coast, West Coast? Ain't nobody trying to hear that. And ain't no real nigga from Oakland got to stand up and got to help us with no niggas from Baltimore about no boxing shit. You know what I mean? We ain't asked for no help, my nigga. You don't hear Oakland niggas coming on here talking that bullshit. Salute, fam. Uh, Carla, what's the name where you calling from? Sound like drugs. Hey, what's going on? It's Dante from West Philly. Dante from West Philly. Talk to me, fam. Shout out Philly. Shout out Philly. Hey, what's going on, William Haney, Mr. Haney? Uh, yeah, question is, uh, mm-hmm. I want to address a whole bunch of other stuff, but I'm going to address this. You say y'all the youngest promotion in, in the genre, right? I'm asking the question is, 
what fight cards have we got that uh Devin Haney has promoted? All the other uh, ones I see is in conjunction with. So if y'all the youngest promotion team, when are we gonna get that Devin Haney card? Uh, you know, with like I said, it's coming. It might be it might be next, you know. But when you talk about when you talk about working with the promoters and talk about that we've worked with all four promoters, all the big promoters, well, you talk about the face of boxing. You don't talk about somebody that's hogging the light and saying that if it you know, it's this side of the street and we're only fighting Devin Haney fighters, Devin Haney promotion fighters. No, we we fighting everybody and working with everybody. And I think that's what's being the face of boxing. Yeah. But I think that you're looking for that old yesteryear shit where it's only one card, it's only loyal to one side, one network and, and such. We we mm -mm. we are carefully breaking. Nah, that brother, that's not what I'm looking for. Nah, brother. Nah, bro, that's not what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is you just, what, what you said. You said y'all the youngest independent promoter. If you independent yeah. promoter, that don't mean you're in conjunction with nobody. The word independent means you by yourself. That means you can move from network to network, but you independent. Yes. That means you paying these fighters, right? That is what the word independent means. Yes. yes. You know what that, I mean? That, so that, I ain't that. looking for this old school stuff. Okay. Don't try to so, deflect. I'm so, trying to okay. keep it where so, it's at. You said y'all the so, youngest so independent junk. So where so are we going to get this devil handy card? Okay, so as an independent, so as an independent, so as what as an independent, what you do is you go get the money from the network, you pick the opponent, right, and you put the fight on. That's what you do as an independent. You go get the money from the network. Yeah, I know. That's what you do as an independent. You get the, with, with you get the money from the network and you put on the card. All yeah. right, so you're going to keep dancing around. That's all I want. But so he, y'all independent and your son's the face of boxing, right? Yes. Okay, all right, well, that's all I got, Coach. Let the other people get in. I shout out to Dante West Philly. Let me address this. Let me address this to the chat. Well, let, me, let, me, let me say one thing, folks. Because yeah. the, former, the, hey, the former face of boxing wasn't putting on his own card, so why, did, why now does the criteria have to be that it's only your name on the bill? I mean, none of those guys have had their name as a face and be only on the bill, right? Yeah, I agree. Um, call her, hold on. Um, Ronald Jimenez, he says, I meant, I meant Bill don't get to respond while they're on. No need to get pissed, Herb. Not that's y'all don't know who Herb is. That, that's my name, Herb. He say, uh, to respond, to respond while they're still on is cool. They holler, then run. All right, well, uh, Ronald Jimenez, I don't know if you ever ran a podcast before. I don't know if you ever ran a podcast before um ronaldo ronaldo jimenez but if you run a podcast i have a thousand people calling into the show these phone calls are five sometimes even six minutes long because bill responds back sometimes he was having bad reception but these guys are long-winded while i have the phone ringing beeping and beeping and beeping and beeping and beeping if you don't understand that then i don't know i don't know what the fuck to tell you um uh, Ro uh ronaldo i don't know what the fuck to tell you I really don't. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to keep guys on the show for 10 minutes on a phone call, and then we got other people trying to get in. I'm doing the best I can. If you don't like it, guess oh, yeah, what? Ain't no need to get pissed off. Take your $7 that you donated and take that shit back the way it came from, homie. Temp or no temp. I get two fucks. I, but I'll tell you, and I'm going to tell you when the internet crash. Anyways, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, hey, coach. Hey, coach. I, let me tell him I, when I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to start stop speaking up for my son when the internet crash or when they get their ass off, when Wookie Woo go, go work, go to his job because I'm working my job. This is my job right now. And he's saying, well, you don't do your job. How about Wookie Woo? You don't do your job because I don't know if this is your job. I don't know if Tank and hired you or they paying you or whatever. But anybody that's sitting around and you have a son that works hard doing everything that he's supposed to do paying you and you sitting around scared to death to say something you sitting around not believing in him you sitting around and waiting for everybody else to say something you was a fraud you's terrible you's a you you you're not even a man you worse than you because you're scared and i always talk about parents and people that are scared so what y'all got a chance to see before me was a lot of parents that's scared that they're going to come out and they're going to do wrong by their, their son or do wrong by their daughter because of y'all, because what y'all are saying when really you want to have the narrative to yourself, you want to get on here and, and, 
and push bullshit and you don't want to have someone that can come on and um, articulate it and come back and, and challenge you on your position. And that's all I'm doing. I'm doing no different than everybody else is doing. If you got a uh, chance to see me talking... Call, 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 call on the same, Oh Yeah, and, I, and I'm going to wrap that part up. But if you got a chance to see me talking, well, guess what? Me and you just alike because we support boxing, whether you're listening to it or you're talking about it. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Carla, what's your name? Where you call it from? Jamie from New York. Jamie from New York. Um, uh, talk to me, fam. Yes, sir. Salute, Coach. Salute, Bill. Salute from New York, man. Hey, hey. Um, real salute, quick, Coach. Salute. I want to. Hey, man, what's happening? Um, I'm going to say this with a up, up, uh, utmost respect. Uh, I'm referring to a Wookie Woo. You, you're the problem with boxing today, man. You're the problem. Now, I'm going to say something real quick, Coach. Um, you know, people are quick to throw the word elite around a little too fast for my liking. You know, tank and fight. The boy got skills. But to be called elite, you must fight and beat elite fighters. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was going to say this before Bill showed up. I like Haney. I like Tank. But Haney, right, he's doing what elite fighters do. Being undisputed in this era, that's hard to do, man. And that's a good start right there. See, Tank ain't doing none of that shit, bro. See, um, Floyd is out of, his, out of the picture. And he's in full control of his career. So what's the problem? Is it his height? Is he scared to take an L, you know? Because he doesn't have the guts to, to fight the top fighters, you know? He only wants to fight guys that are, like, tailor-made for him. And let's not forget, this guy is going on 30 years old. He should be embarrassed. And the reason I say that, Coach, because, you know, soft touches for him should be something, uh, uh, a, a part, of the, part of the path for him. Because, again, if you're that great of a fighter, prove it. That's all we want. Haney, on the other hand, the young boy, man, he's doing everything he can to, 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 to make it to, like, to the Hall of Fame, bro. He's fighting the fight. so. Bill, I got a question for you, man, real quick. That's all I need to know. I'm going to see you on, on um, April 20th, all right? I'm, I'm coming. I just want to know this, brother. Who is in charge? If you, if you know, who, who set, who's setting the prices for this fight in New York? Um, that's, on, that's on Golden Boy. That's on Golden Boy and you know, Oscar De La Hoya in terms of setting the price for the seats. And, oh, you know okay. what I mean? That's something that, that we didn't... Um, you know, we took the suggestion on him. He sent out the price sheet, and you can either agree or disagree with it. I didn't make any waves about it. I agreed with it. Um, I think you got a little bit of resistance from Ryan Garcia about it, but um, I agreed with the prices. Mm -hmm. If that's what they said, that it'll be um, the suggested amount, then let's do it. But I mm -hmm. think that a lot of the uncertainty that Ryan has used based on uh, his way of promoting this fight uh, can attribute to you know, um, you know, a little bit of uncertainty. Yes, sir. Gotcha. So, Coach, and one more thing, man, and I'm going to leave you with this. Again, I like Tank. I feel he's a bad boy. But for me, he's a professional ducker and a little too soft for me. Bill, nice talking to you, man. Coach, salute from New York. I'm out. Right, salute. Appreciate you, Hello, we got another call. Um, Carla, what's your name? Where you call from? Well, he hung the phone up. He hung the phone up, so... Um, yeah, yeah, Bill, um, listen, man, um, y'all got a fight coming up in April the 20th. You know, um, I'm hoping that, that, um, that, um, you know, Ryan Garcia, you know, don't pull out. I hope he shows up. I want to be wrong on this. You know, I want to see you guys get this fight. It'll be a great fight for Ryan Garcia. It'll be a great fight for Devin Haney. Both of you guys have made some good money, a legacy fight, and it's a money fight. Um, um, do you know anything about how the ticket sales are doing? Carla, hold on. Uh, no, no, I don't. I don't know. I haven't paid attention to it. I've been so locked in with Devin and, and just what we're doing. Um, I haven't. You know what I mean? I've Obviously, I've been watching Ryan Garcia's antics, um, you know, and like I said, to say the least, we're very irritated by it. And if he's uh, if he's trying to do that, then like I said before, I said you're doing a great job, you know? Yes, yeah, salute, fam. Um, um, oh, I, and listen, um, li go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no go ahead, go ahead. You don't, you think you you never know what a fighter is going to do when it comes to promoting and how they're going to do it. You know, I think we were misled in terms of Ryan's more, a little bit more passionate about certain issues and causes and things like that. We were thinking that, you know, he was red hundred percent going to, uh, you know, pump up um, his fight on April the 20th. He's choosing to use the light that he's having right now 
um, which might be the last time that he has this kind of light. So um, that's what he's choosing to do. I was misled uh, by it, but I think that the cat's out the bag that if any other promotion, any other time, you would know what Ryan Garcia is, and I think it would bring some 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 sort of caution or clauses in terms of how you're going to promote. We didn't know that that this would be the Ryan Garcia. Call hold on. You know, so we got to deal with it. All right, caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? Hey, can you hear me, Weird? Yes, sir, I can hear you. All right, good deal. What's up, man? This is this Rick. Bill. Can Bill hear me? Yeah, can, I can you hear him, Bill? You. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. All right, good deal. Bill, we meet again. What's what's up, man? I I, I talked to you the last week on, on Fanon's panel. You you remember Rick from last week? Um, not really. You'd have to remind me, King. I'm 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 one of the few that have my camera on. We talked about the monkey stuff and we talked about the, the Cambo rematch and all that. Um I, I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure, King, but talk to me. I'm here. All right, good deal. Look, all right. before your, your before your um before your signal dropped the other day. I was trying to ask you about um, this this face of boxing claim. And when I think of the face of boxing, I think of I think of excitement, you know? And, you know, just like in football, the 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 the, the bomb long pass, the slam dunk in basketball, the home run in baseball, you know, the, the, the knockout is, is, is what really sells in boxing. And b- before you and Devin fought Regis, you and Devin both declared that y'all was going to knock Regis the fuck out. So when the fight proceeded, I was extremely impressed with Dev, Bill. He was looking really good. He was busting up Regis, had Regis hurt, dropped him. And it looked like he could have stopped him. So, but y'all chose to play it safe and, you know, just get the win and just dominate and, you know, get on out there. So my question to you is, man, going forward, when we see Dev kick it up a little bit more and get folk up out of there to be called the face of boxing, you know, to sell more pay-per-view tickets to, to generate more excitement, because 96 rounds in a row, Bill, that's the last time Bill had a knockout back in 2019. We want to see some knockout. What's up with that, Bill? Oh, absolutely. And I appreciate you, you tuning in, you know what I mean, and watching. But when I'm up in there with him, um, ain't no scary business with me. Ain't no, you know, it can be um, 96 rounds, and it can be 96 rounds with your toughest fighter. When Devin is in there, He's comfortable, and he's a technician. He's an executioner, right? And to some, you know, the, they like knockouts. And, you know, you could be one of them, and I respect you. But the game is not the, – the, the fight game is not called knockout. It's called boxing. You know what I mean? And for that reason that we're here right now, um, what, four months later, um, ready to fight and perform again. Um, I think that, you know, you, everyone is entitled to – their favorite fighter, and if that's what your favorite fighter is, is a knockout guy, well, then he needs to get in the ring with us because he knocks out everybody, right? You know? Well, yeah, Bud, Bud on 11, that's my favorite fighter, Bud, okay. and Bud definitely knocking folk out. My my, yeah. my point, Bill, is y'all said y'all was going to knock Regis Boy, the but, fuck so, out, so, and y'all so, had so, a chance, and, and y'all, didn't, actually, y'all didn't take it. So Bud has 11 right. straight knockouts. So Bud has 11 straight knockouts, right? Um, and I think that's a longer streak than than anyone, right? Uh, is, 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 so is Bud the face of boxing? And why wouldn't he be the face of boxing if that's your he favorite more, he, he has- more of a face than He more of a face than Dev. Okay, but why isn't he the He absolutely face? is more of a face than Dev. So, what, so why Say isn't that again? he the face then, Kane? I say, why isn't he the face, King? If he has more knockout streaks, he has a better record, and he's number one, King. 
That's hey, that's subjective to every individual person and their own opinions. I mean, you you have yours, and everybody else has theirs. But yes, from why, the from the excitement I'm standpoint, you know, can right, right. Well, I'm just saying but, from the excitement but, standpoint, y'all could have knocked Regis out. Y'all had Regis, yes, y'all had Regis ready to go, uh, Bill. I mean, and y'all said I'm y'all was gonna this, do mean, it, but y'all didn't do it. Yeah, but I'm saying is, I think that if we did everything that you said do, just like Bud has done it, and you still don't say that Bud is the face of boxing, so I don't know if that's going to actually help, King. Well, the face of boxing is going to sell major pay-per-view numbers. The face of boxing is going to have a a fighting style that's going to generate major, major buzz. Dev can get that. I don't see Dev at that point now. He can get to that point. Maybe if he would have did what y'all said he was going to do the reasons that he didn't do. Well, the, like, that's what I'm like all I'm face, saying, Bill. Well, like like the face like the face of my uh, of my neighborhood, right? It might be a guy that when you think about my neighborhood, you think about his face, but he might not necessarily be the face that that gets the most money on the block, but he's still the face because he represents everything that our block um, encompasses, everything about us, right? But he might not be the smartest, more slickest, you know, guy on the block, but he's he represents us. When you talk about boxing and you talk about, like I asked any other guy, and I said, if you're, if you starting out, you and your son are starting a career, who are you going to pattern your, uh, your, your career after? Are you going to pattern it after Bud? And Bomac, are you going to pattern off of Dev and Bill? Hey, um, I want I want to say something. Uh, I got a lot of people calling into the show. This show, this call was almost God, seven minutes long, and you know, so I want to I want I want to be respectful. Let let Rick talk for thirty minutes or whatever. Let you talk, but we got other callers calling yeah, in Rick, as well. So do y'all do y'all want to just let y'all talk? Let anybody talk? Or how how we want to do this? I'm trying to let other people call in and as well. Yeah, yeah, man. I, oh, man, I get out the way. I'm not trying to hog up the line. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying you're hogging up the line. I'm just, I'm just saying we got other people calling in. Can you answer the question, Rick? I want Bill to uh, finish his question. Can you ask? What's your question, Bill? Can yeah, I got. Yeah, Rick? what's your question? What's the I question? Said, if you're starting a career, if you're starting a career in boxing, right? Do you, do you pattern starting your career as Devin and Bill did it? Or as Bud and Bomac did it, you can take your pick. Uh, you can say you can throw Tank in there, Bill. Hell, you you can throw Better Bev in there, Bill. You can throw uh, any select elite fighter in that in that list that you just named. Not just Bud and Dev. Okay, so who would you? Okay, so who would you want to start your career as? Who, how would you who would you start it as? Which pick one? You I'm I'm, I'm 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 bud all day, so I'm 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 kind of biased, so I'm I'm bud all day. So of course I'm gonna say bud or uh, Bill. I, I I relate okay. I, I relate a lot well with bud. That's all. But okay. let me get out the way, man. All right, salute, fam. So who's biased? I think I think I think I think boxing is very so, subjective. So I go ahead. Go ahead, Bill. No, yeah. So if he if he says that he's biased, then why couldn't he understand um, that that a fighter needs someone out here, um, you know, answering to all the guys that are. Call hold biased. on. He's, he's 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 clearly biased, and he's saying that he's biased when <coughs> that's his favorite fighter. But go ahead, go ahead, caller. Um, caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? Yeah, what's good, Cole? It's Nate from the UK. Salute to the coach. Nate from the UK. Salute hey. to brother Bill Haney as well. Salam alaikum. Yo, first thing I want to say, though, is, you know, carry on doing you, man. You're doing a great, great thing. As a father myself, as a dad in the UK, you're an absolute shining light. And all these haters in the game saying that you need to start representing your son. You need to stop standing up for your son. Just like what you said earlier on, Bill. You said no. Carry on telling them no. Send my regards to your, to your beautiful son, Devin Haney. He's really doing big things in the game. By the way, to your last little question, Bill, that's a very, very uh, good question that you just asked the, the last caller regarding how you want to start out in the game, whether it be the, you know, the Terrence Bud Crawford way or the Devin Haney. 
and I'm going to keep it real. You know, I got, I got, I got bought down as the pound for pound number one fire in the planet right now. You know, but definitely, Devin Haney is definitely in that top five. You know, I'm saying mostly top three, really. You know, I'm saying I'm not going to go into the to the details right now, but Devin Haney is definitely up there, my brother. And really, when you look at it, you would definitely have to choose Devin Haney. And, and, and from my answer would be that it's not just being a Devin Haney fan. Like I said, I'm a I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Bud fan as well. But I understand the question. You know, how you set, you know, you come to the game, Devin Haney promotions, being 100% owned by themselves, coming to go with my man Eddie Hearn in the UK, the first kind of, you know, partnership. You know, and I've seen you guys grow from there, really, you know, taking the smoke all the way to Australia and back. So that's the first thing I want to say, Bill, is that, you know, don't worry. I, I know you're not worried about these haters, but for real, for real, for real, they're an absolute guidance for a lot of us brothers out here. And to be honest with you, I'm looking to catch up with you on the um, parents to partner and vibes that you've got going on because I've got a beautiful 12 year old daughter in the UK. She's almost as tall as me already, Bill. Played a little tennis with her and a few little things. And we've got a very, very athletic background as well. So it'd be an absolute pleasure to, to touch base with yeah. you regarding that one day. Um, oh, my last absolutely. little question, and then I'll let the phone line hang up because I'm I, sorry, what's that, Bill? No, I said absolutely. Absolutely. Look forward to it. Oh, bro, that honestly, that's music to my ears. So the question I heard you, I heard you mention a bit earlier on. For me, it's been an absolute disgrace the way that Ryan Garcia has been selling this fight. You know, fair enough. You know, you know, you know. Obviously, we're all war members of the Dean, so we know that everyone has their rights to have their beliefs. Rights, to obviously, feel the the way they want to feel about certain things. But I think that you know the wider boxing community understands that Ryan Garcia has definitely sold this fight fight in a completely different way. Um, we obviously hear from his own mouth about people saying that he might have to take psychic evaluations, all of this. So I think you kind of answered the question, but what my question was going to be was, you know, you actually handle it with, with a lot of grace. So what's, what's the plan to move forward for Devin Haney? And then also, um, how guaranteed is the fight with Ryan Garcia? And then, like, so, you know, the, the kind of final caveat question on that is that you guys continue kind of maneuvering in the boxing industry with all these forces against you. So what kind of keeps you guys motivated to carry on and, and you know, and trying to make the big fights happen? Other than that, salute, salute to Bill and salute to Coach. I salute, fam. Now, I'll let it, go ahead and answer that off yeah, 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 the like, like, that's, that's the biggest, that's one of the big motiva motivating factors is to move through. Carla, hold on. To move through this industry the way that we, we do. You know what I mean? And I, I really believe strongly that that's what represents being the face of the sport is not that everything is given to you, that you're able to, um, you're able to fight on only on your side of the streets. You're only, you're able to fight under, um, you know, advantageous grounds that's fitting for you and your company and everything. No, it's boxing. It's what people want to see. They want to see a guy come from, from the bottom and work his way to the top and not compromise himself, but do it for the people. And I think that's okay. what he does. Okay, uh, we got, uh, Carla, hold on for a minute. I'm going to read these super chats. Shout out to uh, Ronald Jimenez dropping that $2 super chat. He say, must love and respect always. Love to talk. All right, fam, salute. Go ahead, go ahead, um, go ahead, um, um, go ahead, Bill. Yeah, yeah, you know, so I don't, I don't, um, but, but, but I would think, and I would know that what, um, Crawford, our number one pound for pound fighter in the world, most skilled man in the world right now, right? Um, you know, a veteran. Um, if he could do it all over, just like Devin, um, because he was, you know, he was went through a, a a long time where he was with a company that, you know, he had less than uh, you know, he had disagreements with. You know, he didn't have the success that he was yeah, like yeah. there too long. You know what I mean? So, and I think. Yeah, he, yeah he, went, he went, he went, he went, it was, it was kind of rough for him. It was kind of rough for him. You know what I mean? And I think that that was because of having that loyalty to uh, the company, loyalty to the team, loyalty to, you know what I mean? And not necessarily loyal to, to himself and loyal to the fans. Um, you know what I mean? Was a bit conflicting. Uh, I think that Devin has shown that he's been loyal to not only himself, but loyal to the fans. And this is why we're in this position. We're in a position that everyone that I talk to, every hater that I talk to, that's they get stuck. Uh, 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 yeah. That's about everything, Rick. You know what I mean? If you're going to be biased, I thought we were having a conversation. But everyone wants me. They say, but Bill, I don't want you to be biased now. I don't want you. What are you talking to me for? If you're biased, 
when I'm telling you, I'm not being biased. I'm actually giving you the truth. So thank you. We got we got one more call. This is the last call. Call what's your name? Where you call it from? You the last one. Martin from DP Oakland. Martin from hey. Oakland, talk to me. Yeah, I got one question for Bill. How many motherfuckers chicks is Devin Haney fucking? Because he's getting a lot of hate over some stupid ass shit. He beat the shit out of a motherfucker for thirty six minutes, and just because he didn't get him, just because he didn't take him out. That's what I'm talking That man ain't never been in three. That man has got two losses on his record. And four to the world against undisputed, undefeated champions. But somehow, because Dev didn't knock him out, didn't do the impossible, it, it don't mean shit. What are we talking about here? What, what, what kind of game they trying to play on you, Bill? They running cap. They running cap. Some motherfucking you know, bullshit. You know, yeah, representing that deep east, you know I'm not gonna go for it. I'm not listening to him. You know what I mean? Um, we're gonna keep, yeah, we're gonna keep on doing what we're doing and keep representing the town. It's always town business everywhere we go, King. So I appreciate you. For sure, Bill. All right, salute. Shout out to Martin. All right, Bill. That was the last call. Um, that was the last call. Yeah. Hey, hey coach, coach, who comes and do it? This uh, is, am I, hey, listen, who comes and do it? They they keep trying to tell me that I'm not gonna come and do it. Well. I, my son, I love him to death, and I hope that he's not watching my tennis player, but we got some work to do. You know what I'm saying? We got some work to do before I can come on and talk, talk, talk to him. You know what I mean? Me and Devin, we put in this work to get in this position, and I'm going to stop talking when the internet crash or they put dirt on me because I love my son. I love what he represents, and I'll never let you trolls have him to yourself to just do whatever way you want to do. So you can save them comments talking about me stop talking. Why don't you stop typing and then I'll stop talking. All right, salute. Shout out to that guy. I think you read this already. He said if Crawford drop out of the belts at 147, would Devin move up or do or do more at 140? Just asking. Um, you know, right now we got this, we got your phone um, keep going out. Expect big things for us. The next I said, well, right now we got this dude, uh, Ryan Garcia, to take care of 140 pounds. As soon as we have this business, you know I'm coming and I'm looking for him, all of them. All right. Well, well, Bill, your connection is bad. It sounds very robotic, so I'm, I'm going to let you go. But, Bill, thank you so much for um, stopping by. It's a great uh, surprise, but I really appreciate you yeah. taking the time out. Shout out, to the, shout, out to the, shout out to the Grand Hotel and TJ. They don't know about that. Ronald Jimenez, you know, what you didn't know about the Grand Hotel in Tijuana? One of the spots that Devin went to. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, man, shout out to Tijuana, man. A great place, man. Um, and, you know, who, who embraced us. Good people around there who would come out and they would boo professionally. Like they would so they can just boo us. And, and thank you to Tijuana because you guys gave us the ability to handle the pressure and handle the crowd in a way that we don't think no other fighter deals with it. And it all started in TJ, man. So thank you to Tijuana. We can always keep representing. And I think that there, there's only two great champions out of Tijuana, Eric Morales and Devin Haney. Is it Eric Morales? <laughs> Let me make sure it's here. Let me make sure. I want to say it right. <laughs> yeah, Morales. Eric Morales, yeah, yeah. Hey, well, Bill, hey, um, hey, shout, hey, shout out to Charles Edward Cheese. This show, this show has been sponsored by Charles Edward Cheese. What we normally do over here, um, Bill, is someone donate $50 or more, they, they will become a sponsor of the show. Charles Edward Cheese has just donated $200, $100 here and another $100. So I'm reading this one. He said there's only one Devin Haney and there's only one Bill Haney. Blessings, King. Man, thank you. We appreciate you. And that means a lot to me, the real ones. That got kids that sit there and say, man, I'm going hard, man. Y'all ain't going to run me off of my son or my daughter. I do it for y'all. Gets us All going right. because. Hey, 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 coach, when they talking yes, about money, we didn't. Listen, we didn't check enough money for a lifetime, man. What else can you buy? What else can you do? It got to be a bigger purpose than that, than just the money. And the people is our purpose. The other fathers and sons that's going to come behind us and going to say, you know what? We want to do it the way that Devin and Bill did it. 
I was hey Bill man, salute fam. Um, um, hopefully I want to get you back on the show before the fight. I know you have a big fight coming up April the twentieth. Um, it's it's like what a month away. You might as well say so. Um, I see both guys have been training hard. You coming? To it New is what York, it is. Right? You coming? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm gonna talk to you. you. I'm definitely coming to New York. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Well, I'll talk to you before then, or if not, I'll see you in New York, man. Shout out to all you lovely people. And tell uh, coin flip Kenny. You know, take that quarterback to the trick shop. You know, the the novelty shop, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and you tell that other guy that um didn't mind him getting overstepped. Get him some business and get out of ours. Man, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go. Come on.